our next topic will be about the inverse trigonometric functions. So there are two major formulas for the inverse trigonometric functions. So the first one, so first if we are going to integrate du over the square root of the quantity a squared minus u squared, where a is a constant and u is our variable derived on our numerator, so that will be equal to arc sine of u over a plus c. The second one is the integral of du over the quantity a squared plus u squared, that is 1 over a arc tan of u over a plus c. So for example, we are going to integrate the integral y dy over the square root of 25 minus 16 y raised to the fourth power. So first, based on our formula, we are going to identify our values a and u under our square root sign so that we can be able to use the arc sine formula of inverse trigonometric function. So here, 25 is equal to 5 squared and then 16 y raised to the fourth power is 4 y squared then squared. And this quantity is our u, the 4 y squared. So if we are going to differentiate 4 y squared, that will be 8 y dy which must be present on our numerator. So we are lacking 8 here. And so we are going to multiply our integral by 1 8 and then add 8 on our numerator so that we can proceed to the arc sine formula. So 1 over 8 times the arc sine of our u 4y squared over our a which is 5 plus c. So this is our answer. The second one is the integral of dy over 9y squared plus 6y plus 5. And so we have to make a way in order for us to identify our u and our a on our denominator. So here we are going to separate our constant 5 into 1 and 4 so that this trinomial here can be converted into a perfect square. So that per perfect square is 3y plus 1 squared and then our 4 is of course 2 squared. And then if we are going to differentiate our u which is 3y plus 1, that should be 3dy. So we put 3 on our numerator and then we multiply 1 third to our integral. And so using the arctan formula, the result will be this within this quantity 1 half because 2 is our a so in our formula 1 over a times arc tan of 3y plus 1 over 2 and then multiplying both our constant here so that will be equal to 1 over 6 arc tan of 3y plus 1 over 2 plus c our third example will be the integral of the quantity y plus 4 dy all over y squared plus 16. So here we can already identify u and a. Our u is y and our a is 4 because the square root of 16 is equal to 4. So our denominator will be y squared plus 4 squared. And then we cannot proceed with any of our inverse trigonometric formulas because we have the quantity y plus 4 on our numerator. So, so we have to separate these two terms into two integrals. So that is y dy over y squared plus 4 squared. And then the second integral is 4 integral of dy over y squared plus 4 squared. So here we can use the inverse logarithm formula for integration but we must add 2 because the differential of our y squared is 2y dy but we are also going to multiply 1 half to this integral in order for us to use the inverse logarithm formula 
And so, that is 1 half times the integral of 2y dy. So, we can already use so we can already use the inverse logarithm. So that is 1 half of ln times the quantity y squared plus 16, our denominator, plus 4. And we are going to use the arctan formula for this integration. So that is 1 over 4. 4 is our a. Arctan of y over 4 plus c or simplifying that will be equal to 1 half ln of the quantity y squared plus 16 plus arctan of y over 4 plus c. This is our answer. If we are going to have the integral of 3x minus 2 dx over x squared plus 2x plus 17. So again, we have a trinomial here but we are going to form a perfect square trinomial out of this constant 17. So here we are going to separate 17 by 1 and 16. The sum of 1 and 16 is equal to 17. And then we are going to factor out by perfect square x plus 1 squared is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 and then 4 squared is equal to 16. But our numerator must also be factored out using this binomial x plus 1. So we have to divide our quantity by 3. So that will be 3 times x plus 1. Then we are going to subtract 5 in order for us to have negative 2 as our constant on our binomial. And so simplifying and separating these two terms into two different integrals, that is 3 times the quantity of x plus 1 dx over the quantity of x plus 1 squared plus 4 squared minus 5 times the integral of dx over x plus 1 squared plus 4 squared. So here, we can proceed with the inverse logarithm integration and here we can proceed with the inverse trigonometric formula. So the differential of x plus 1 squared is 2 times the quantity of x plus 1 dx. So we must have 2 on our numerator but we are going to balance it by 1 half outside. So that is 3 times 1 half times the integral of 2 times the quantity of x plus 1 dx all over x plus 1 squared plus 4 squared minus 5 the integral of dx over x plus 1 squared plus 4 squared. So we can proceed with the inverse logarithm here and we can use already our inverse trigonometric formula here. So that results to 3 halves ln of the quantities x plus 1 squared plus 16 minus 5 over 4, our a is 4, times arctan of x plus 1 over 4 plus c. This is our answer. So that is it for our inverse trigonometric functions topic. For our next topic, that will be about the integration by parts. For your questions, comment on our discussion.